In this video, let us see how to perform this image enhancement operation using the machine learning model called the ESRGN, which is a image restoration model. It can give you the original image from a compressor image. Here on the right hand side, you can see how blurry the image was. And on the right hand side, after we give the image to the machine learning model, you can see how clarified that image becomes, how enhancement the image has become. So let me zoom it on the blurry image on the right hand side. You can see the difference between the both images, right? So let me zoom it on the blurry image. When I zoom on the blurry image, so let me zoom this image. You can see the pixels are breaking. So let's try to zoom it on the clarified image. You can see that the pixels are not breaking that much on this enhanced image. So let us see how to perform this image enhanced operation using this machine learning model called the ESRGN. So let's get started. For this, we're gonna use this repository provided by the Zintain. So I will provide the link of this GitHub repository in the description you can check that out. You can see the she's a researcher at the Tansen Arc Labs, which is a applied research center. She wants all the content, we don't want anything. So if we just gonna use this repository to sign the machine learning model and enhance the image. So if you scroll down, they give you the detailed expression on how to run this image. If you scroll on, first they provide the samples here you can see and the sample image input you can see this blurry image has been converted to this enhanced image. And on the right hand side you can see a cat image. You can see that this is the input. The image is blurry but on the output of the cat image you can see how enhanced how clarity that image becomes. Similarly you can see all the samples here the tree has been transforming or enhanced using this model. So they provide all the examples here. So let's if you scroll down they give you the uh, procedure for how to run this model. But before that we need a Google Colab notebook because to run this machine learning model, we need a powerful GPU. So for that, we're going to use this Google Colab notebook because Google Colab provides a free GPU for up to 30 minutes or one hour. So we're going to use that to perform this image enhancement operation. So let's open up a new tab and type Google Colab. So just type the Google Colab. Click on the first result that says welcome to Colab. So just click on this new notebook here. Now if we go to the GitHub and scroll down, you can see this how we can run this operation. Here are another example of how we can enhance this image. Here you can see they give you the detailed expression of how we can run this machine learning model. First we need to clone this repository. So let me copy this repository here. So for that just go to the notebook and click on this files uh, icon here so that you can connect it to your virtualized server. You can see that it says connecting. So just give it a few minutes. Once it is connected we can see that we get a folder called the sample data. So this is the files folder where we can work now. So just go to the GitHub and copy the repository link now. So let me copy this repository link. So let me paste the control plus C and paste that here. And before the uh, command, just type the exclamation mark. Here you can see exclamation git clone. So provide the exclamation mark before the git clone. So now uh, click on this run icon here or the play icon. You can see that it's cloning into the ESRGAN folder. Now when you click on the refresh button here you can see we get a new folder ESRGAN. When you expand the folders we can see we got all the folders. This is the low resolution figures, models, results. When you expand the uh, LR folder you can see that this is where we place the low resolution images. When the model will collect the low resolution images from this LR folder. And if you expand the models. So I have also cloned this repository locally so let me show you the sample. Let me open up the folder. If you go to the LR folder here, you can see this is the raw resolution images. Here you can see you can see the resolution size and the image quality are low. You can see the clarity of this photo. When I zoom in, you can see that the pixels are breaking. So let me close this. Let's also open the second image now. Here you can see the image size is are small. And if we zoom that out, you can see that the pixel size are breaking. You can see the how blurry that image was. So let's try to enhance this image using this machine learning model and see the output now. So let me close this and go to the second step. That is, so let's click a new code now. So let me click on here and click on new code. Here you can see now we got a new shell. Just go to the GitHub and copy the second command that is to cd into the ESR gen folder. So let me type the command cd ESR gen folder. So this is the folder that we have git clone into. So we're gonna use this cd command to jump into the folder. To make that folder as a current working directory. Now click on this plus icon. Here you can see now we are in the ESRGN folder. The second step is to install the models. So when you open up the, so let's close this when you 
open up the models folder you can see that currently we don't have any models we need the models so let me also show this in the local repository that i have cloned now if you go to the folder here in the model section here in the model section you can see that we don't have any models we have to download their model and place that model here for that if you go to the github and below that you can see that they provide you a google drive link here here you can see they give you a detailed instruction place your role resolution images in the lr folder so that is the blurry images in the lr folder we have to paste that blurry images in the lr folder and we will have to download the pre-trained models from this google drive link here so click on this google drive to download the model so let's back and open this in the new tab now so let me open this in the new tab so let's also change the view type to list now so the model that we're gonna use one is the rrdp asrg and this is the model that we're gonna use now so let's click on this icon and click on download this will download this model for us so if you go to the downloads here you can see the downloads begins so let's try to upload this to the google color so when you click on the models folder and click on this three icon you can see an option called upload click on that we're gonna upload a machine learning models to this models folder so click on upload and select the machine learning model that we have downloaded now so let's search for it now so rldb so this is the model that we have downloaded now so let's open up so just press ok here you can see now the model has been successfully uploaded to this models folder in the models folder we have successfully uploaded the pre-trained model so this is the model that we're going to use with the help of this model we can be able to enhance the image quality now we have done with this step you can see that we have the model now so let's the next step is to install these dependencies that we need for this project here you can see we need the pytorch or that just go to the google collab and type the following commands before we type that we need to change the runtime of this just click on runtime and select on change runtime type we'll have to change this to gpu because we need the gpu to run the machine learning operation faster now you can see it will reconnect it now so we'll have to rerun the code from the beginning here you can see so just click on this it clone operation second time now the uh, repository has been cloned successfully if we refresh the folder here can see that now we got our ESR GA folder. If we go to the models, we don't have our model because we have refreshed it. So we'll have to upload it a second time. Just click on this three icon and select the upload and select your machine learning model. So this is our model. So let me upload this one more time. Now the model has been uploaded successfully to this models folder. So let me refresh it. You can see that now we have successfully got the machine learning model that is the pre-trained model to this models folder. So let me run this CD command one more time. Now we are currently in the ESR GA model. And the third step, which is the final step before we run the machine learning model, is the install the necessary dependencies that we need for this model. The first one we need is the Torch, Torch Vision, and the Torch Audio. Make sure you type the exclamation mark before the pick command. So that's it. We need these three libraries first. Here you can see it says requirement already satisfied. And another cool thing about this Google Collab is that you can see that the Torch is already installed. Normally, if you want to install Torch in any system, you will require at least three to four gps of space space but here in the google club they have already installed this torch and finally we need one more library if you go to the github you can see that they provide a simple command pip install we need the lumpy and the open CV. that's it so let's copy this and go to the notebook and paste that here and before make sure you take the exclamation mark before the pip command here you can see this command was also says requirement already satisfied now the libraries has been installed successfully now we can move higher to run the model here you can see we need to place our low resolution images in the lr folder currently there are two folders in the lr folder or uh, the monkey uh, image and the the comic uh, photo that we have seen earlier sample images now if we go to the lr here you can see we have this buffoon and the comic image so this is the comic image so when you zoom in you can see that it is blurry so to run the machine learning model on this low resolution images we just have to use the one command that is python and the name of the python file is the test.py so make sure you type the exclamation mark list for the python so exclamation python test.py that's it run it one more time here you can see it starts performing the enhancing here you can see now both the images has been processed successfully the results will be saved in the results folder if you expand the results here you can see we got the enhanced images let's try to download this image now so let me download this 
when I downloaded here, you can see we got our image now. So let me open this in the file image viewer. Here you can see the clarity of the image. So let's also open the blurry image to give you the difference between the normal image and the enhanced image. You can see the size difference. From the size difference itself, you can see how enhanced the image was. When I zoom at the image, you can see the image becomes blurry or the pixel break starts breaking. But let's look at the enhanced image that we have got with the help of this machine learning model. Thanks to the GitHub repository, you can see the difference by looking at this. There are huge differences here. For the first one is the clarity and the second one is the enhancement. Let's try to download the second image that we have in this low resolution. So let's close this now. So let's also close this. So let's try to download this comic image. So let me try to open this image now. So let's open this enhanced image. Let's also open the blurry image now. So if you zoom on the enhanced image, you can see that the pixels is now uh, breaking. Let's also open up the blurry image. So let me uh, put this side by side so you can see the difference now. Here you can see the difference. You can see the real difference between these two images. Here under the right hand side, you can see how blurry the image was. On the left hand side, you can see how clarity and how enhanced the image becomes. But, so let's try to zoom it on this. Here you can see how the pixel starts breaking. So let's also zoom it on the enhanced image. You can see the pixels are not breaking that much. So let's try to enhance one of my images now. Here I have an image. So this is a raw uh, resolution image. Let's try to enhance this image now. For that, we need to put this in the LR folder. That is the low resolution folder. So here in the LR folder, we have these two images already. So let's try to delete those images. So let me delete this perform image and also delete the comic image and upload our new photo now. So just click on this three icon and click on upload. So let's try to upload the new image that we want to enhance. Now the image has been uploaded successfully. If you expand the LR folder, you can see this is the image that we have uploaded now. So let's try to run the Python command one more time. Python. So make sure you include the exclamation mark. Exclamation mark Python test.py. Here you can see now the image has been enhanced successfully. The image will be saved successfully in the results folder. Here you can see we have the whole uh, image now. Let's try to download the. So let me open up the enhanced image as well as the blurry image to show you the difference. Here you can see this is the enhanced image. I think this image is fine for me. So let's try to open up the blurry image. You can see this is the blurry image. You can see that the size difference of this. The size difference is huge, right? But when I zoom it on this, the pixel starts breaking. So let's try to zoom it on it. Here you can see the clicks. For me, this for, for this uh, custom image, the size difference is different, which is a uh, huge benefit for a low resolution images to a high resolution image. This is how you enhance a blurry image using this machine learning model called ESRGAN. So this is for this video, and I will continue in the next one.